Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do these cool electric titles. Now, there's a lot of cool stuff going on here, but it's really easy to put together. There's just some tricks with some of the filters to create this look. So let's start with a brand new composition. It's called Electric Title. It's five seconds long. And to do this, we need to start with some turbulent noise. And you have to apply that to a new solid. So bring up a new solid. Call it Electric Noise. Click OK. Let's go to Effect, Noise and Grain, Turbulent Noise. Now with this, we're going to have to do some settings. And let me change these settings really quickly and just kind of watch what I do. It'll make sense in the end. So we'll go down to Subscale, go to Block. Let's bring this contrast to... 70, brightness to 20, and let's go into transform. Let's bring the scale to 2200, and let's move this to about right here. We want roughly all the same. Let's go in the complexity and bring the complexity up to, let's go to 8. Make things a little bit more complex. Now this is the basis of this effect. And I want to right now while I'm still here, I want to keyframe the evolution. So I'm going to come here to the very beginning, click on the stopwatch for evolution. Let's go to end. And let's just do one rotation. And that should be good. Now, let's go ahead at this point and let's add our text. So I'm going to bring my text tool up. Electric titles, a quick little spelling arrow there. And let's stick that right in the center. And let's go through our fonts, see if there's anything we like. Okay, here's one. This one's called OCRA Standard. And this looks pretty electric to me. And you're going to want this as black font. Now from here, we need to add an adjustment layer. So go to New, Adjustment Layer, and let's add some filters to this. So let's go to Effect. First one we want to do is a blur. So we're going to blur this. Blur at 5. And repeat the pixel edges, this little checkbox right here. Next, we need to go into Color Correction and add the Levels effect. And what we do here is we're going to just going to come in and adjust the levels. And this is kind of kind of hard to see what we're doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another adjustment layer above this. And let's call this edges and color. I'm going to come to this top adjustment layer. And let's go to stylize, find edges. And then I'm going to invert that. And then next, let's go to Effect, Color Correction, Curves. Let's go into the green and pump the green on that. And then Effect, Stylize, Glow. And let's get this to glow. And we might do the, the glow before the curves. Now, we can come in here, and after we've done that, we can come in and start to adjust these the levels. And what I want is I want some of this banding. See these little bands and all these little lines? It looks like little bits of electricity. And that's going to add to the whole effect. And this is where I can adjust my blurriness. So the more blur I get, the less square. So maybe let's, let's try three on the fast blur. About like this is starting to look good. And let's go back to my edges and color. Let's go into this glow. Let's increase the radius. So it's a little bit softer. And what I want to do is this glow radius, I want it to have some banding as well. So let's come up to the effects. Let's go to stylize and then go to posterize. And you can start to see some banding and I'm going to increase that. 
where we can have this banding here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this find edges and move it down to the bottom. And that's pretty cool, but I don't want it to be all purple like that. So I'm going to take this curves adjustment, and that was the color correct, bring it down to the bottom there. And I can take this find edges, and let's adjust the blend with the original so it's not completely like that. So this is kind of what we have so far, and it's pretty cool, but it's not quite the logo reveal that we had in the beginning. So what we need to do in order to do that is let's go down to our turbulent noise, and I need to adjust the brightness. So as, it, as I adjust the brightness, you can see it reveals the logo. So let's bring this down so it's completely off. They're negative seven. I'm going to keyframe the brightness. It's come to about halfway through. So we just have the titles. Let's take a look at that. So that's pretty cool. It might be moving a little bit too fast. So I'm going to click on this electric noise layer at the bottom, hit U, and it'll bring up my keyframes. And it's the brightness is the one that's going a little bit too fast. So I'm going to just take this second keyframe and move it over. Now what I want to do next is if we remember in the example, there was this cool kind of a, a color swipe going down the titles. And so how you achieve that is pretty simple. And so what you do is you on the, the text itself, the electric titles, we're going to add an effect. So we go to Effect, Generate, Light Sweep. And let's take this, turn that to 90 degrees. And you can see it's starting to do something to the text. Let's bring this to fit so we can see it better. And we want to increase the edge intensity. And we also want to increase the sweep intensity. And in order to create the cool colors, I'm going to change the light color. Right now it's set kind of and it's as a white. Now I bring in more kind of an orange. You can see it's adding some color to that. And so I'm just going to keyframe the sweep position. So let's start up at the top. And about right here where it's starting to show the words, I'm going to keyframe the center of the light sweep. And as it goes through till where it's almost gone, let's bring that all the way down so it's off the titles. Let's take a look at that. Pretty cool. All right. Now let's add, just add a little bit of a vignette to this so the edges aren't quite perfectly um, bright. So let's go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. Make sure it's at the top. Let's switch to our Ellipse tool. I'm just going to double click. Let's go to Effect, Color Correction, and Exposure. Let's bring the exposure down. Then I'm going to hit F on the keyboard, and it brings up the max Mask Feather. I'm going to hit Invert, and then I'm going to feather this. Now I can also take this, and if I move this down below, then we've got this kind of a look, where it's just showing right in the middle. So placement of the adjustment layer as well. Let me just title this. And this was the uh, blur and levels. So experiment with where the adjustment layers are going. I think I like it right there. So I can come in also, let's go to the mask. And that's looking pretty cool. So let me just render this out really quick so you can see the final product. So here's our electric titles. And one last thing that I would like to do is I'd like these titles to kind of only appear on when the sweep comes on. And that's really easy to do as well. So I'm going to just come to this electric titles. I'm going to solo it so I can see what's going on. And what I want to do is I want to mask this 
as the sweep comes on. So let's grab just a rectangle mask. Let's go to the end. Right there. Let's go to my mask path. Let's go up to here. And I'm going to just bring my mask path up. So then it kind of sweeps on. And then when we look at that, you can see that the titles are kind of building. And let's come in and I might want to change the glow a little bit. Might have a little bit too much glow. So adjusting the glow. Maybe this second find edges. And it's at this point it's just kind of adjusting it to make it look the way you want. And I think this is pretty cool how it is right here. All right. So I'm happy with this. So let's talk about the tips and what we learned in this. So the bottom layer is we've got this noise. And then we've got some adjustment layers on top of it. But first we put our titles. And then we have the blur. And what this blur is does is if we take this off you can see everything is just not as connected together it looks kind of just like your titles are on top of a grid and what when you blur it and you use the levels it kind of makes everything you know turn into one where you can see right here this line is really kind of connected if i take that off it's not connected at all and then all of our color work, and then the find edges. And then lastly, I put just a vignette on top, and you don't have to do this. Maybe uh, bring it down a little bit. And then, of course, this light sweep. And you can adjust, you know, maybe play around with the colors. Maybe have some purple in there. And that's the basic electric titles. So I hope you learned a lot with this. Let's go back to the uh, yellow. I like that better. I hope you learned a lot. And if you have any questions, go ahead and put them down in the comments below. I'd love to answer them for you. And if you haven't done so already, check out my channel. I put out new tutorials every Friday, and I'd love if you would go and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments or even tutorial requests, go ahead and put them down either underneath this video or if you go to my channel there's a discussion tab and that's where everyone's been asking about different questions with After Effects or tutorial requests and that's a good place to put those there is on the discussion tab of the channel. Excited for you to be a part of this community and we'll see you next time.